Hey YouTube. Um, I'm just installing FreeNAS on uh, this machine. So it's going to act as iSCSI to this machine. Um, for backups, it has two 500 gig uh, WD Blues in there. I know Blues, but I got them for free, so can't complain. Um, this whole server for free, actually. I think the only things I paid for in this rack are these two, which I paid for about 40 US or 60 New Zealand, where I'm at, um, uh, together. Uh, yeah, this has a RAID controller, and I couldn't make each disc a RAID 0, so I'm actually going to do a RAID 1 on these two. Um, and then just disable like uh, the uh, like uh, cleaning up and free NAS because I don't actually want free NAS for the NFS uh, like you know redundant storage and stuff. I don't care about that. Um, I just want it so I can set it up as an iSCSI machine and it has like a nice GUI and everything. Um, so at the moment I'm installing it on this thing, this USB uh, from this USB. Um, yeah, so, uh, install it, yeah, I only have 5 gigs of RAM on this machine, but I figure for backups and stuff, it's, it'll, it'll probably be fine. Uh, you know, like, a lot of people will say, like, oh, this is such a bad setup, but it's backups, like, it, there's nothing mission critical on here, or nothing mission critical that isn't in production somewhere else. And it's highly unlikely that you'll uh, both fail at the same time. Um, so I'm just installing. Uh, yeah, so I'll get back to you when I've installed it. Um, yeah, sorry I didn't get another video out last weekend. I uh, got uh, busy and then I recorded one and I couldn't get the software to work and then when, uh, and then the is corrupted so ugh, I kind of just gave up um, yeah so while I'm waiting I thought you I'd update you on stuff I've done so Raspberry had it doing uh, speed tests um, stuff like that uh, I thought it only has 100 meg port and even though I only have 100 meg download and 20 up if, I thought if I'm going to do it properly, I'll do it on a gig device, so I'll probably end up making a VM for doing something like that in there. And it wasn't really working anyway. Um, so now this is running Pi-hole, and it's going to be my internal DNS. Um, we're going to run a secondary one on here. Hopefully soon I'm going to get a uh, bigger server to be my main host, because this 4-gig uh, one's obviously not enough. Um, and then that time I can migrate PFSense from here, which, uh, yeah, my rack's quite loud at the moment because these two machines running with bands at full, and this one's running at like 80% because I don't have the hydro installed and stuff. Um, so I can get rid of that one, I, I'll tune those bands down, and hopefully I'll put PFSense on this machine and get an hydro for this, uh, make my rack a lot quieter. Um, not that I need it, I'm in a garage, um, so... But, yeah, that would be just nice creature comfort. Um, yeah, and then I can get a big, bigger machine, uh, probably a 2U, uh, something with a lot of horsepower and RAM and stuff like that. Um, eventually, I either, I, my long-term plans are getting a disc shelf for this, and then actually doing proper free NAS, you know, with, like, separate discs passed through. Um, on this, and it have, this is a proper iSCSI pool for uh, hosts uh, to do mass storage and then put like SSDs in the hosts uh, for like you know stuff that requires uh, fast storage. Um, but or or get uh, build a completely new Renas box, but that's obviously long term stuff. Uh, quite a wee ways away, yeah, because. This is the budget home lab. Um, so yeah, quite cool. Right, Atlas has been uh, really cool actually. I've set up a couple of measurements to uh, friends and stuff. So, as well as them getting the credits from it, I'm also kind of benefiting. Um, yeah. Well, I really like this uh, cable for it. Uh, it's got two USB ports. I might um, think about getting one for my Raspberry Pi. So, what I can do is I can unplug that. 
bottom one's still plugged in, still on. It's almost like a redundant power supply. Put that back in, unplug it from the bottom server. Still on. So I thought that was really cool. Um, if I need to like use keyboard and mouse on one of these servers or something for some reason, I can unplug it because there's only two USB ports. Or if I need to use keyboard and then um, like a USB stick, yeah. Uh, for any of you wondering about heat, uh, this switch uh, out is this 2960 is pretty hot. Um, you know, not it's not the end of the world. Obviously, I'm in the garage. But if you're just keeping this in a, a really small closet, you know, it might be a, become a bit of an issue if you never opened it or, like, had a fan in it. These two put power supplies, but they had a lot of heat, I'm assuming, because they're, uh, they're only 220 watt power supplies, and it's got, like, DDR2 in it. Um, Porto Duro, so low power CPU kind of thing, but it runs at full power all the time, because I think it's before Intel, you know, knew about limiting power usage and it's DDR2 gear. Um, this one, this is also a DDR2, but it doesn't run nearly as hot. I think it's got like a 300 watt power supply, um, or like 400 or something. You know, very cool out the back of these, uh, mostly. Um, this one's probably my coolest server. It's my Argentina DDR3, all that kind of stuff. This top switch, obviously not doing anything. I've got like, this is the trunk to this switch here. Uh, and then this goes up to 2960, which I need to configure. Um, it's obviously not on at the moment. I'm just going to use that for playing around with Cisco. So, yeah. Um, so, it's just, just finishing booting up now. Jeez, it takes forever to install and boot up. Um, it'd be my only gripe with FreeNAS so far. I haven't really used it before. I've just played around with it on a virtual machine once. Um, I've put some tape over there in my horrible handwriting because the cables are in the way uh, over the USB. Eventually I'm going to put it on the USB on the inside, but this is at the bottom of the stack. And none of these are mounted to the posts or anything. They're all sitting on this. So taking it apart means, you know, lots of uh, downtime. Um, not that I'm a production environment, like, hugely. Like, I run a Minecraft server for friends, but nothing major. Um, I just don't like it as much, um, and then, you know, a lot of work, uh, cr cross fingers, I'm getting a, uh, big 42U rack soon to put here, um, replace this cabinet, and, uh, this thing, and then I'll put, like, the switch in the back, the switch in the front, um, you know, stuff like that, um, I can do it properly, and I'll put, like, uh, uh this one on rails, and, like, these two on rails, um, I don't know if I can hopefully find the rails for these ones. Um, yeah. But that's what I'm hoping to do. Um, but fingers crossed that's going to happen. Uh, yeah. So, I've uh, logged into FreeNAS. Uh, well, so I set it up. It's booted. It's on a dynamic IP at the moment. I've just... Uh, Finishing install wizards, basically called it data store one um, on the 500 gig raid one. I've got to like disable the garbage collection thing, um, and then I'm creating an iSCSI share of it, which I'm then gonna share into Proxmox so I can do scheduled backups to this. So yeah, that's where I'm at. Uh, so this is a couple hours later. I had to go out to work, um, but so I've got it all installed. I've got the eyes scuzzy set up on here. Um, this is on the free NAS. At the moment, I'm just configuring the Proxmox though, because uh, even though in here, um, in the yeah, so in here it says eyes scuzzy target, and I can see this in the side menu, like shows it. Um, I can't add anything to it or do anything with it at the moment, um, so I'm just sorting out that. Hey, um, so, uh, oh, it's just free now, it's rebooting at the moment, but, so, I've been playing around with this for a bit, and I've just posted, um, on r slash home lab about it, so hopefully someone can, uh, point me in the right direction, so it's, yeah, 
or any of you know how. So I've got it showing up here. When I do it down here, um, I don't think the box is on yet. It shows up like this. Uh, LUN. Um, but like it's not applicable or whatever, the storage size or whatever. So yeah, I don't know what's going on there. Hopefully I can get it resolved, but that's what I'm doing at the moment. So uh, thanks for watching. Um, yeah, thanks for all the uh, support. Uh, so yeah, this is just what I've been doing. Hopefully I'll get this working soon and I can start actually backing up all my uh, props mops um, to this. Uh, if anyone's wondering about my network configuration, I heard it was okay um, to run it on the same subnet in VLAN as your regular traffic, even though it's not advised. Um, so I'm just going to do that for right now because I don't have another I spare nick for this. Eventually I'll put like a four port in this and have like couple ports for iSCSI and stuff. Um, these these uh, six here are uh, actually from the iSCSI server. Only uh, this one is being used right now. I need to set up uh, link aggregation uh, to the switch. Um, yeah, I'll, uh, what I might do is just uh, use um, like these four ports and then have these two as like uh, these four ports and then have these two as management, uh, the onboard ones. But yeah, so hopefully I'll get that working. Uh, thanks for watching. Any questions, leave them in. Uh, the comments and I'll uh, hopefully uh, be able to answer them.